last year was my first year here as executive director, and we had the most perfect day you could ever imagine. I mean, it started out cold. We got there about 5 in the morning, and it was pretty chilly, but by the time the afternoon came and we were cleaning up, it was pretty warm. So that was probably the best scenario. You know, there, I guess there was a year where it was sleeting and rainy, and I think that's even worse than snowing because it just gets everybody wet and miserable. But we've had all kinds of weather, from really, really cold to unseasonably warm. We're coming up on our ninth year. Um, started, you know, nine years ago when a group of board members had to figure out how to raise some extra money. Um, we, I think the agency experienced a funding cut from our state funder at the time, and so they hosted the first hot chocolate run, and it's been growing ever since. The race, um, whether people walk or run, totally supports Safe Passage. Um, Safe Passage offers, you know, a, a variety of services for people who have been impacted by domestic violence. What um, what the the run proceeds really do is help us sometimes fill in gaps that state or government funding just can't fill. Um, it's helped us weather some, you know, you talk about storms on the day of the event. We've certainly over the years had storms and funding sources and things, and it's helped us weather those storms as well. So it, um, it gives us that, that funding to allow us to grow our programs sometimes, to you know, do the work that we need to do to, to sort of dream and envision and keep growing. So it really provides a great source of um, financial stability and um, growth for the organization.